So our simulation is done. Let's take a look. This time, because we make the skirt a little bit more heavier, you can see it's uh, it's not going up that crazy anymore. And a lot of things seems to be working just fine, but we have a really ugly end. <laughs> So let's see how we can fix it. I don't want to re-simulate everything. I know that the problem is basically happening somewhere here down the way when this hand is trying to push that. Right. And other than that, I think everything else is actually pretty fine. You can see there's no overlapping or anything down the way. Maybe a little bit over there. But yeah. That happens is here. So let's fix this problem here first. So let's say we're happy with everything happening earlier and we just need to fix it. Uh, there is actually a way to do that. So what you want to do is here go back to the uh, simulation here. Now go click on the point so you can see where it is. Use the selection and just grab that part. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe it's just not that part, but also some other parts uh, here on this guy too. So let's grab both, right? This part, we don't even that, that much. Uh, holding down shift, so I select which part is it? Here, okay. One more time. So here and there. All right. That's the problematic part. Maybe a little bit there too. So I'm going to select that in the viewport, holding down Ctrl Shift and grab. Uh, the reason I don't want to do the viewport is because it doesn't really have the way to select back faces, which really bothers me. But I can Ctrl Shift and grab these guys too here. So basically, selecting the wrong parts, and then we shift and drag through this entire piece to reverse our selection and then I'm going to drop click on there and create pin to pin the others that are okay and then I'm going to hit simulation and basically uh, make it figure out what's going on and then when it's done I can stop the simulation okay and I can control W to unpin everything else so that's basically uh, fixing that part now back to the animation and you can see it's also fixed so here we basically just hit on the record one more time what it does now is start from this state and basically simulate from here and create a new channel so anytime you have problem, don't worry. If you, if that's just one of the problems you just have to fix, you do it the way I'm doing here. To basically tell it to calm down and fix that part and start from there and continue. Right. So let's see if anything else came up. So far everything's pretty nice, and we just need to see if there are something more we have to fix down the way. All right, so we're done with re-simulating. Let's take a look at, at everything one more time. Zoom out. That should be the camera angle. I don't quite remember, but let's take a look. Yeah, that actually fixes that problem we were having earlier. So I think I'm pretty happy with almost everything here. Maybe some part like this part I think it's going up but I guess that's what should be happening so it's just that dark color I guess it's the back face thing. If we change that to you know double faced it wouldn't even be a problem so I guess everything is actually fun. Stop the animation. So that's actually our timeline. Don't drag that white bar otherwise you're changing your time range. 
So let's say actually this is what I what we need, right? This is what that that this is actually working pretty okay now. I don't think I need to change anything for the simula simulation. As you can see, this is actually much faster to iterate uh, than other packages, and I really enjoy this workflow in Model Designer because it just feels much more. Uh, comfortable with and you can fix things down the way using this kind of like layering system you can have a lot of layers fix any part that you don't like uh, just in case you're curious on how to crank up the quality even more of course you have to re-simulate uh, that's going to be underneath the let me actually save this in case I break something. Uh, back to the simulation. For everything here, you can change the particle distance to 5 or 7 to really have a lot of smaller detail. Again, that's the resolution of the geometry. Right click in the viewport, go to simulation properties, and then change the number of simulation to something higher like 5. That's the sub step, basically. No one knows what time step is. It's not really appear on their documentation either. So yeah. Uh, go to animation, and you can re-simulate with those settings. But that's going to take a lot of time, like a lot of time to render, to simulate. So unless you need really refined detail, you don't really need that kind of like, uh, you know, particle distance. As long as it works okay, right? With the bigger shapes, that's all you need. Okay, so we're gonna stop our tutorial here. In the next one, we're gonna actually take a look at how we can. Whoops, let's go there. I think it's fine, it's just having some glitch, I guess. Let's take a look at it one more time. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on there. That's like that's like something really is having trouble. But yeah, I guess it's just one of the little a little glitch. All right, so in the next one, I'm gonna show you how we actually export this back to Maya, and then and that's gonna be it for the entire tutorial. Okay, see you next.